Um, Jessica was in here. Very excited to be a Cleveland Brown. Um, dream come true, getting picked in the NFL draft, and um, nothing but excited to get to work. Excellent. Thanks, Jed. Mary Kay, we'll start with you. Jedrick, can you just talk about, you know, you landed with a team that looks really ready to win. How excited are you about that? You come from a winning program. Uh, you know, sometimes guys get picked high and they have to, you know, go lose for a while. But you're poised to come in here and be with Odell and Jarvis and Baker and, and Nick. And uh, how do you feel about all that? Um, I'm very excited. And I know those guys want the same exact thing I do. Um, it's going to do nothing but make it stronger if we all have the same goal in mind, which is to win. And I'm going to do everything I can to put us in that position. Thanks. Thanks, Mary Kay. Marla, you're up. Uh, hi, uh, congratulations. Um, I'm just curious, you, playing with a fiery quarterback like Baker Mayfield, do you, you've kind of, you had that alpha male, you know, mentality that Tua put on you, uh, you know, that description. <laughs> you kind of see how you guys could mesh, you know, that kind of fire that you play with? Um, right. So he plays with great determination and I do the same exact thing, and I know that he's a great quarterback and he's somebody that's striving to, you know, put a team in a great position to be like a championship team. And um, with us coming together, I feel like it's going to help make us better. Nate Ulrich, you're up next. Hey, Jedrick, congratulations. Uh, can you tell us about how you think you'll fit in the zone blocking, uh, the wide zone blocking scheme that the Browns are going to run? And uh, can you size up your uh, kind of view of uh, the switch they want you to make to left tackle? Right. Um, so I think I'll fit in perfectly fine with the wide zone scheme. At Alabama, we ran multiple different types. Uh, so I've, I've did just about everything, and wide zone was in our packages. So I feel like I'm doing nothing but adapt, adapt easy and just learn the plays and, and get to work. Um, as far as switching to the left side, I think it's something that's going to be in the best interest for the team. Um, I predict it's coming very soon. So. It's going to be something on me to get to work and kind of learn that position. All right, Zach Jackson, you're up. Uh, Jedrick, um, are you left-handed or right-handed first? And then can you just describe the last few weeks with, you know, having to be home, trying to stay ready, right. um, you know, just everything that went into this, you know, non-traditional process? Um, so we'll start out, I'm right-handed, um, not ambidextrous. I'm strictly right-handed. Um, but during this process, I've been working out at home uh, with a trainer from high school um, here located in town. So I've been able to, you know, get in the gym every day and do what I can do. Um, but as far as like the whole coronavirus thing, um, it really didn't change my routine too much. All I did was, you know, work out, do football, go home. So just been trying to stay out of the way. Thanks, Zach. We'll go to Tony Grossi. Hello, Jedrick. Congratulations. How's it going? I'm um, good. Um, the Browns, in their conversations with us, told us uh, that uh, you kind of knew you were going to play left tackle for just about every, I don't know, what, did every team tell you they envisioned you uh, converting you to left tackle and uh, get a head start? You know, right. when those conversations took place at the combine. Um, so even when I first declared for the draft, there was something that was questionable for almost every team. Um, only the Chargers and the Buccaneers were two teams that told me I play strictly right tackle. Um, I know the Browns just got um, signed somebody who also plays right tackle, but I thought that I would be end up moving to left. Thanks, Tony. Daryl, you're up. Jedrick, welcome to Cleveland. I'm, I'm curious uh, with this unique situation that everybody's in, you're not going to be able to, you know, come and get with the coaches and you're going to be expected to change positions. So I'm curious what you are doing or what do you plan to do on your end to maybe try and get yourself uh, ready for that transition? Right. So number one thing is learning the place um, and getting the playbook down because without that, I won't be able to actually play. Um, so that process, and then really just practicing left tackle. Uh, Joe Thomas reached out to me and um, kind of knew that I'd be going to that position right away. Um, so as soon as I could start that position as fast as possible and kind of send him some videos and get some pointers and clips from his from his direction, I feel like I'll be in good hands. All right, thanks, Daryl. Nate? Um, you played right tackle in high school too, right? Correct. Okay. Well, so this will be – a change from what you've done uh, so far, but how much are you looking forward to? I mean, how how much, uh, I guess, are you eager for the challenge 
Yeah, I'm very excited. I mean, football still with charges, so whenever I can get to it, I'm ready. Mary Kay? Uh, hi, Jedrick. Uh, you mentioned that Joe Thomas reached out to you. I have two quick questions. So uh, when you say he reached out to you, you mean after you were drafted, he's already reached out to you? Um, before and after. Oh, before you got drafted, he was he'd already yeah. been talking to you. And can you just right. explain a little bit about the nature of that? Um, he had just hit me up on Twitter, Twitter DM, and um, just told me that he had a talk with Andrew Berry. Um, just told him that he really liked my game, um, et cetera, et cetera. And then after just now, he just gave me his number. It was like, call me sometime if you ever need any pointers. Uh, he knew I was going to be playing left tackle. So if I needed any pointers on tips and videos or things like that, he'd just be there to help me out. So now that you're here, you really will take advantage of that, I'm sure, pretty quickly, right? <laughs> Most definitely. He's a Hall of Fame player, so why not? Uh, and then the other thing real quick is uh, the, the Browns told us that you were the top tackle on their board. What does it mean to you uh, to be that, to know that they got the number one guy and they had choices? Um, it means a lot. Um, so that was something that I preached on because I firmly believe that I was. And with them believing in me and, you know, kind of expressing their feelings about that, um, it makes me feel good. It makes me feel welcome. And I'm going to prove them right. Thanks, Mary Kay. Jeff, your line's open. Yes. Hey, welcome to Cleveland, Jedrick. I want to know what um, did you learn most from Nick Saban? He because he has ties. He coached here at one time. Right. Um, so it really just taught me how to be a professional. Um, came day in and day out to work, and I knew that if I wasn't going to do that, I wasn't going to play. So really, just had to carry myself in a different manner. All right. Thank you, Jeff. Nate. Hey, Jedrick. Uh, Kevin Stefanski said he thought that you had been in touch with Baker. Um, have you been in touch with Baker? And and do you know him at all from before? And what has your interaction been like if you if you guys have been talking? Right. So um, before, no, I never really talked to him. Um, but he hit me up as soon as I got drafted. Just shot me out a text and just gave him uh, gave me his info. Same thing. Let me know that. Let him know that I was going to be there and he was going to be there for me. Um, I need anything just to reach out. Thanks, St. Marla, you're up. I'm just curious, how did you have just, you know, a few family members there? What did you do tonight? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so just the pre-celebration, you know, just get together, eat and whatnot, and then, of course, get drafted to celebrate. So now I just kind of enjoy the moment. Was it, um, like I said, just a, I don't know how many people were there. I know you, you didn't want to have, exp you know, have too many people around, I guess. Right, so the right. CDC guidelines was 10, so. Add 10? Yeah. <laughs> and you're in Lexington, right? Correct. Okay. When I talked to some of your coaches before um, before the draft, they were talking about well, your family. I mean, I don't know. They, they, they have a lot of good things to say about, how, about what a good family, you, you know, your mom and dad, how influential have they been for you? Um, very influential. Uh, brought me up my whole entire life and been there for me through whatever and whatever I needed. So they just kind of created me, um, taught me right from wrong and so on and so forth. Your dad being a coach and your mom playing college basketball, was that, that had to be a huge influence. Yeah, I've been around sports my whole entire life. Uh, started at a young age. Did your dad take you to games when you were tiny? <laughs> uh, that and uh, he also used to coach me for a couple of years. Uh, when I got a little older and moved on to like middle school and high school ball, so. All right, thanks, Marla. Scott, you're up. Hey, Jedrick. The Browns have talked a lot about how Bill Callahan um, will be crucial in helping you adapt to playing left tackle. Do you remember what do you remember about meeting with the Browns at the combine and what some of the things Coach Callahan might have told you? Um, so at the combine, it was more just them getting to know me for a couple minutes and then straight into film and, and playbook work, just trying to see how my mind processing what I know, um, that type of stuff. And then like the Zoom interview meeting. Um, it was just me and Andrew Berry. Um, he was just kind of connected with me, getting to know me. Um, very little talk about position playing actual football, but more on the other side. And they've also mentioned Tyron Smith moving over from right to left with the Cowboys, and Callahan was part of that. Is he a guy you've looked at at all? Is a guy who you're kind of a model for that transition? Um, right. So most definitely. Um, I know it's going to be a tough transition, but I have full faith in him, you know, kind of getting me to that point. Thanks. 
Thanks, Scott. We have time for one more. We'll take this one from Nate Ulrich, and we'll be good to go. Sounds good. Hey, Jedrick, what do you know about Cleveland, and what do you want the people here to know about you? Um, so it's close to home. Um, I think I've only been there a couple of times when I was younger for, like, tournaments and whatnot. Um, so I'm not too familiar with the culture, um, but I just want them to know they're getting somebody who's going to know everything they can do to be a leader in the community, and um, I need them to teach me the culture there in Cleveland.